Hi everyone, this video aims to guide the foreigner student to use the FJCU library resources. Hope you will learn more about the school library. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, there are some things about our school library you need to know. The service, opening hours, and library spaces, etc. There are three libraries on our campus. The first one is the Ji Shi Library, also called it the Social Science Library. Its collection of books and the journals are about social science, applied science, science, religion, and law. The most important thing is that all of the FJCU theses and dissertations are collected here. The second one is the Gongbo Library, also called the Liberal Art Library. The collected books and the journals are about language, art, philosophy, and history. The last one is the Cardinal Shan Library, also called the Medical Library, with the collection of medical-related materials only. As for opening hours, three libraries have different opening hours from Monday through Fridays. The Ji Shi and the Gongbo Library are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekends, but the Gongbo Library is only open on Saturday. As for Cardinal Shan Library, it is open from the 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. on weekends. Please notice that. Besides, they are closed on national holidays. During summer and the winter breaks, the opening hours are shorter. You may check the library website for further information. As great students, you might want to know how many books could you check out. For books, the maximum volumes are 40 items. As to borrow in period, you may keep them for 42 days one time. If no one wants to borrow this book, you could renew the item only for one time. Don't forget to return your books on time, or you will have to pay the $20 as an overdue fine per book and per day. While for multimedia, $10 per item per day. This is the most important thing when you use library resources. Library account is different from LDAP. Which school gives you when you register? You have to activate the library account for the first time. OK, follow the steps to activate your library account. First of all, go to the FJCU website. The link is in the menu of Campus Life. And then you will see the library account right next to the links, library catalog, and the advanced search. Another window will show up as you click library account as picture 2. Barcode means your student ID number, and the default password is your birthday, month, and date, only four digits. After that, please click the submit button. It will show the information to reset your new library password after entering the default password. Just set up a new library password. If you cannot see this window pop up, please contact the librarian in person. When you see personal information on the screen, it means you make it to activate the library account. Just a reminder, the default email is the school email. We will send the email to inform you to pick up the reserved books and of the library notice. To avoid the problem of not receiving library notices, we highly recommend that you check out your circulation records from your library account. In this way, you can determine the due dates of your checkouts and avoid overdue fines. If you forget your library password, please click the link Forgot Your PIN. Then a PIN request window will pop up. Type your school ID number and submit. Please go to your school mailbox and receive the message. If you don't receive an email, please contact us. Find the email and check out the hyperlink to reset your library password. The link is valid for 3 hours at a time. Just set up a new library password. If you need to use a computer in the library, first of all, you should register a seat from the booking seat system. 
You could use two hours when you log in successfully. We also provide printers and scanners to help you print or scan some materials here. If you want to use the printer, you have to pay by easy card. Don't forget to click the log out button before leaving. In this part, we will talk about our retrieval library systems. There are four retrieval systems you can use. Library Catalog, Full Text Finder, Library Discovery System, and Databases. You can search for books titles, journal titles, even ISBN and ISSN as you have known via Library Catalog. We will explain the other systems on the next page. To search for the e-journal or e-books, you should know about the FTF for Test Finder system. You can find the FTF from the e-resources. It is for searching e-journals that we purchased the system, a full test finder. You could search for journal title or ISSN. Please don't enter the article title or keywords here. It search for electronic journals, not for the full test that you want. Then, you could also browse by discipline to check out the subject in your major. Let's use the journal title Asia Pacific Journal of Management as an example. As we check the results, you will see the exact title of journal on the first line. If you want to know more about the journal, please click the link of the journal title. But if you want to get the full text paper, you could see the term full text access below the journal title. You will find lots of hyperlinks on the website. It means all of these databases, including this journal. Just a reminder, the collection year of each database is different. If you don't have much time to search for the detail, you could try the library discovery system at first. When you open the library website, you will find the library discovery system on the third tab. You can search for what you want via keywords, article title, journal title, and so on like Google search. Or you can also click the link below the search bar. It is the interface of the library discovery system. The default interface is basic search. You could choose the field that you want to search via rolling down the menu or switch to the advanced search to set up more search options. Here is the result that you click the search button. It shows the numbers of the search results. For example, here are 454 thousands about COVID-19. If you feel there are too many results, you could use the filter to narrow down your results, like year, source type, and language. Let's go back to the middle of the screen. Here is the magnifier for you to check out the abstract of the article. And if you want to get the full text paper, you will find the FTF icon below the title. Sometimes it will display the PDF icon. When you click the FTF icon, it pops up the new windows to inform that you may get full text access from the publisher. Next, I will introduce lots of databases in our libraries. You could choose what you want according to different subjects and the materials. The first way you can find the e-resources and the database is just on the first row. About the second way, you just find the popular resources banner in the lower higher corner. The first one is databases. When you browse the web page, we classify the database by title, college, system, and the format on the first row. If you already know about the database title that you want to use, you could type it into the database title search. Remember to find the database quickly, not to not key in the keywords to search for full text. We also arrange the database alphabetically, and the icon has different meanings. You can find the manual below the link. For multidisciplinary scope, you could use the Web of Science and Academic Search Complete. 
Web of Science is an index database. It consists of 10 indexes containing information gathered from the thousands of scholarly journals, books, book series, report, conferences, and more. You can find the abstract of the paper and you could get some papers from the Google Scholar. You could see how many times this paper was cited by others. Generally speaking, the more a paper is cited, the more important the article is. Academic Search Complete is a normal database. You could search for some journal articles by using keywords. Here are some databases for thesis and dissertation. The first one you could find is on the library website. For the second to the last, you have to access the library website. Click the By Format tab. And the second to last link, Xue Wei Run Wen, means thesis and dissertation. Scroll your mouse and then you could find what you want. If you want to browse the previous thesis that was published via searching every department, you could use the FCCU thesis and the dissertation system. Please click the advanced search, then choose the department, copy the Chinese of the department title and search. We feel so sorry that the system can search for the department in English. For your major, you could use a business source complete, Emerald, and the Science Direct. All of these are specific subjects in business and the management. If you still want to use library resources when you leave our campus, you need to log in off campus access. How to use the e-resources of campus as you are using personal internet and click the e-resources databases, this window will pop out. Please fill in your school ID number and the library password. When you close the browser, please re-log in. You will access the web page while logging in successfully and you don't need to click the off campus access button again. Finally, you did a lot of words but still couldn't get your books or full text articles. Just try to use an interlibrary loan. RapidEO is a unique resource sharing system to provide very fast, cost-effective article requesting and deliver through the interlibrary loan. We cooperate with hundreds of libraries from the United States, Hong Kong, and Canada. It doesn't charge any fee. NDDS is through union list of serials and the other catalogs. Users are able to search databases for the journal, conference proceeding, dissertation, and book holdings in over 400 participating libraries and a request online for a photocopy of articles and a book loan. Requests submitted by users are approved and sent by the users' affiliated library staff to chosen lending library. In short, Rapid is for getting journal articles from overseas. NDDS is for getting books for other college schools in Taiwan. You could do any request online, but don't forget to pick up books or files at the reference counter on the second floor. You could find the rapid eel from the service, interlibrary loan service, and the third one is rapid eel. P please log in with your school ID number and the library password. This website is very simple to use. There are two tabs that you could switch off. If you need to request a full test paper, just click the apply button. Please fill in all the information that you want to request. The icon of the store is a required item. Next is the NDDS Nationwide Document Delivery S Service. It is just on the rapid eel. There are some union catalogs that help you to find where the journal or a book is held at the other libraries. For serials, you could try the union list of serials. For books, you could search in NBINet to find the books at the other libraries. If you already know where the materials are held, you need to create an account to use the system for the first time. This is the form that you fill in for the first time. Please fill out the required red items and click 
query to key in number 351 in the affiliated library field. Our librarian will approve your account. Let's make sure you are an FJU student. Then you can log in via your alien resident certificate ID or passport ID and the password that you set up before. Look down at the second cube on the left hand side. Here is a request form for a photocopy or a book loan. If you want the photocopy, choose the document type and fill in the bibliography that you want and choose the lending library. It will charge some fees for book loan and the photocopies. The charges depend on every library and they are different from each other. The last part is writing tools for grad students. Some tools will help you to write the thesis easily. You should know about the APA style firstly. First of all, you have to identify the reference to grab some useful information that helps us to search. This is a normal APA style for journal article, book, and a book chapter. The first one is the journal article. Author's last name appears first, followed by initials, year of publication in brackets, title of article, capitalize only the first word of the title and the subtitle, title of the journal for in italics, volume number in italics, issue number, this is bracketed immediately after the volume number but no italicized include all page numbers. The second one is a book. Author's or editor's last name appears first, followed by initials, year of publication in brackets. For title of the book, capitalize only the first word of the title and the subtitle. Place of publication, always include the city and two later state code when published inside the USA and the city country. Publisher's name, provide this as briefly as possible. The third one is a chapter in an editor book. Besides the editor, year of publication, place of publication, and publisher's name, you need to add an author who writes this chapter and pages from the books. Just remember to italicize the title of the book, the title of the journal. That will help you to distinguish different materials quickly. It's an APA manual book on the 6th floor at the Gombo Library. We provide 5 copies for you to borrow. Just write down the code number. So, when everyone is told to key in hundreds of references by themselves, they feel it's a crazy thing. Here is a bibliography tool that can help you. It is so coded and note. I won't explain how to use it. You could watch the online training video. I think the video will help you a lot. The last one is Turning In, which is a plagiarism detection service. The Turning In software tracks for the potentially unoriginal content by comparing submitted papers to several databases using a proprietary algorithm. It scans its own databases and also has licensing agreements with large academic proprietary databases. When is the first time you need to apply for an account via the website of library database? Fill in the form and go to your school mailbox. The administrator will send you a link to activate your account. When you log in, you will be enrolled in a class. There are three assignments that you could submit your paper. After a submission has been completed, it will be immediately available to view from the class portfolio page for the students. The report will be completed in 50 to 20 minutes for the first time. If you want to resubmit and override the file, you need to wait for the report in 24 hours. No standard for the percentage of plagiarism. Ask your advisor. If he or she thinks the percentage is too high, they will ask you to rewrite a paragraph or a sentence. Thank you for watching this video. All my best wishes for the future. Thanks again.